guys. I don't have, I don't know where I placed my chargers. I think I was doing like a purge of my chargers. End up throwing away my toothbrush charger and this charger. So I put another charger in it that fit the plug, but I think I broke my, um, I think I broke it. <laughs> I'm hoping it's fine. This one, I charged my fan. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm using the Alpha Serum by The Ordinary. And I have my fan. Yay! This this is like amazing. This is super bougie, I am aware, but once you have it, you know what I mean. Like like who got time? Especially if you like put on like, you know, like moisturizer and things like that. Like I need this to dry quick. Like I need to go on my day. Um, I'm a little fatigued. My alarm went off. Um, I'm not like I don't know how to explain my emotions very well. I'm gonna put on my makeup. That's what I should do first. So, you know what? I still haven't washed my makeup brush. My brushes. I haven't washed my makeup brushes. I should probably figure that out. Okay, so my makeup is done. I just gotta put on some more lip. Lip, lippy lip. Okay, so I need some advice, right? Um, I'm a little, like, fatigued. Not fatigued, just, like, annoyed. Um, I keep looking at my table, and it's so junky. And my cat was playing inside <laughs> my um, recycle bin with, like, the boxes and stuff. And he was playing with it, and he took them all out. And I was like, when do you ever do that? You know, like, why are you doing it now? I told you guys um, I had a meeting recently with my like store, store meeting, digital meeting, whatever. And I just came home from work that day. So I just had to take a shower. I was like, whatever. Um, but we had a meeting and they um, opened the floor to us. So if we had any suggestions or any concerns, comments, whatever. So I, being the person I am, I have two major concerns. Well, I really have four, but I was like, you know what? you know, pick your battles, you know? So I was just saying, one of them was the lack of communication um, when it comes to like delegating tasks or um, um, checking to see if tasks completed, you know, things like that. It's just, just no communication at all. And I brought up um, an example about how, um, I told you guys that like we were short staffed for a while, but now we're starting to get new people. Um, one of the people that we brought in um, like was supposed to leave, but someone had him ask him to bring up some some toasters from the basement, and he brought up the toasters, but he left them on the stairs and clocked out, and he didn't tell anybody. And then the the manager at the time was leaving as well, so they just clocked out. Now, mind you, you have to pass the box to clock out. You know, and to leave, you have to, you have to pass it twice to go downstairs, clock out, come upstairs, leave, you know? Um, so when I come, I didn't know, because I was already on the floor at the time, so I didn't know that they just left it on the stairs, but I'm seeing, like, we're getting, like, like, deliveries and stuff like that, it's, like, not a lot of stuff, but it's stuff that, like, I just don't, I want one, one trip. You know, so I'm taking these, um, there's like two boxes. So I'm taking these boxes downstairs and, um, okay. I wasn't being exactly safe. Wasn't holding a handrail. Wasn't doing any of that stuff. I was just like, you know what? I gotta be done. There's so much stuff upstairs, so much clutter. Everything is not put away. And I went downstairs and I almost broke my ankle and how, all right. So how my stairs are, um, so there's like stairs and then there's a handrail on both sides and then on one of the stairs it's like so say these are like the stairs on this side is like a slope and it's like about i want to say three feet wide or maybe maybe i don't know but it's for like sliding packages down um and in between there's like a little gap and that's just to make sure for safety reason they said they never really told me why there's a gap because i think like if you're sliding packages down you want it to be one streamlined thing um anyway so he placed it right at the perfect angle that like it blended in not blended in but like was barely noticeable now mind you I have packages 
So I stepped on it and I'm wearing Crocs and my ankle went this way and now my ankle was like a little sore but by the end of the night it was fine. But like if I didn't catch myself, like if I just dropped the packages and, and like I just dropped them and I was like holding on to stuff, like I could have like seriously injured myself. And I brung this in, I brung this up and I was just like just the lack of communication. Like why wasn't it relayed to anyone on the floor that this was there? Um, especially on the stairs and and I mentioned the like you have to like go downstairs to clock out to come back upstairs and no one mentioned that was on the stairs and it was pretty you know walking up the stairs you can see it you know anyway I mentioned that and I was just like let's try to complete task and if you can't complete it just to like delay um relay the message to someone a higher up like hey this wasn't completed and like just you know so we know because it's not fair that someone that comes in have to do their task they have to complete um and your task that you didn't complete in the same amount of time is just not fair for like the people who come in later have to pick up the slack for people who are were here earlier you know and then um, my second one was um, proper training, like be more consistent. Like I feel like we need to be more consistent with like training um, of the newer hires. Cause with my job, with my location, you have like a whole month of training and that's a whole month of training. Like literally it's a whole month of training. Like you always shadow someone, you always like, you know, just so you get more comfortable. So we're not like dropping you like randomly and I mentioned this one one this one incident that like really upset my my soul so it was this new girl and she's fresh out of college she didn't she's never rung up she never dealt with like retail she's never done any any of that and they just drop her on the register so she's never taken money she's never taken uh, like use our cash system she's never done I mean our credit card system she's never done any of that and it's like you know how hard is it to like you know ring up someone like oh you want this purple toaster wow toaster purple done this is your t you know it's not really hard but with our old system it's so hard to ring when you're new this is so hard um just to give you an example so i sell mirrors because right so this aoa mirror um is fifty dollars and this pocket mirror is a thousand dollars right um, to get to the mirror that they want to buy so you have to go to a to appliances and then you have to go down to mirrors and then you click mirrors and then there's like a picture a square picture of all the different mirrors right um, and then you would think like under the picture is a small little like crypt text type things like one two three um, five eight you know <laughs> like stuff like that and that's how you can tell the models apart it's one two three five eight you would think by the pictures smart people would be like oh wow it's a picture but no 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 they'll have this picture of an um AOA mirror for this picture of this thousand dollar mirror you know pocket mirror they'll have this picture for this and then under it is this nothing but numbers you know, you would think you'd be able just to scan it and everything will pop up. But no, sometimes our scanner doesn't work and our scanner didn't work that day. So, yeah. So we were like, at the end of the night, it was like, she was asking questions, you know. And you would think that like, oh, this AOA mirror, they want this AOA mirror. Or like, you know, they want this pocket mirror. But there's no picture of the pocket mirror. So I guess this AOA mirror is gonna you know like I I get how she messed up because this is our system is so complicated for no reason like there's no reason I'm not even gonna talk about if they want to pay with a, a debit or um cash because like it's super super complex um for no reason <laughs> for no reason so at the end of the night we were like um our inventory wasn't reflecting what it said we sold like our cash the amount we got um and we were off by like, I don't know, thousands of dollars. And it was all on the register she was on. And they just made it seem like it was her fault when it wasn't. It was poor training. Because again, she's never, like, why would you do that? 
<laughs> you know? So <clears throat> I was just explaining the situation and I just feel like um, we should follow the guidelines that our company set in place for the month of training because it just uh, makes people not want to work here, basically. That's what it says. It makes people not want to work here anymore. It makes it harder on the person than it actually needs to be. And it's already hard, so why won't we want to set up our, like, employees for success and not for, like, a guaranteed failure? Boom. Close. Everyone was like, yeah, da 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 And then, you know, everyone else said their whole little thing about what they feel like it needs to improve. I got a phone call last night about how, um, and it was like a very impromptu phone call. And how they got me was one of my managers that I'm cool with. He called me. So I'm like, hello, hi, and hey girl, hey. And then I should have known something's up when he was like, oh, hello. So me being a person, the chatty Kathy over here, I'm over here like, you know, my cat hasn't thrown up in like four days. I feel like this is the calm before the storm. Like, I feel like I'm going to come home one day and it's going to be like throw up everywhere, you know, like joking around, laughing and stuff. And he was laughing. We're laughing. Um, and then he was like, well, we we decided to call you because you had some great input on the meeting a couple of days ago. And we were wondering if we could talk to you. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you could talk to me. Shouldn't have did that. And then he he introduced, like, this person and this person. And I'm just, like, 20 minutes in the conversation. Because, you know, like, you talk. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I feel like this would be whatever. 20 minutes in the conversation, I was like, um, so how do I send this in? Like, do I send, a, like, a time, a, a time sheet? about this conversation and then the big boss she was like oh we can just pencil you in for this 20 minute conversation um on your next paycheck in my head i'm i'm thinking she's like oh we can give you the money because i know you're all about money it's not a problem i can give you this 20 minutes like <laughs> a finger in all you guys finger in all which she wasn't she was very polite but I was like, oh, it's not about the money. It's about this impromptu meeting that I wasn't aware of. Um, granted, I don't have anything to do right now, but I still feel like maybe this wasn't the correct time to um, call me on my day off um, to talk about work. She was. She said something, something, something. Uh, you have a great something. I don't know. Mind you guys, I don't want to ever be a manager or any type of lead position in this job. It will literally kill me. Like, my main focus is having a baby, and that is my 110%. Like, that's that's my 110%. Like, they're, they're, getting, they're getting 90, okay? They're getting 90 at that job, and I'm giving myself, my stress, my everything, 110%. I don't know where the 200 scale came from, but you know, you get what I mean, right? Um, and I was just saying, like, how I feel like it's not really an appropriate conversation. Because, like, it started to get annoying, like, in the 40 minute of the conversation. Because, like, she wanted me to do a PowerPoint presentation about, like, how I feel like we can improve. And I'm just like, I literally, like, why do, why do we need a PowerPoint? Why? Why are you trying to give me this? And I flat out said, no, I don't feel like this is a something that I, as not a lead, not in a leadership position, nor do I want to be in a leadership position, like responsibility that I should be taking on. You know, I feel like it's not something I should be doing. Um, Yeah, she wanted me to <laughs> do that. Like, what? No. And she wanted me to do it and then hand it in tonight. So she wanted me to work on it after our conversation and then hand her like a rough drive tonight. Mind you, I work today. So it's like, you know, I don't know. Ugh, I'm like so hesitant to go to work, you guys. <laughs> I'm like so hesitant, like should I call out? Like, I don't know. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going into today's vlog now. You guys will see me tomorrow when I upload another video at 2 p.m. And I'll see you guys in the comments below. Later, you guys. Like, I feel like maybe I could be bald headed. Like, I don't know. I feel like maybe, maybe I can. But no, I don't think I can. I think I look weird. What do you guys think? You think I could shave my head and just be like, I am not my hair. I am not. 